In this episode, Bart gets into trouble working for the Mafia, while also shining in basketball. His journey includes redemption on the court, surprising revelations about Fat Tony, and an emotional ending with the Simpsons family coming together, overcoming personal challenges, and discovering hidden talents. The episode starts with news about the biggest drop ever recorded in history. The commentator talks about some other news, while Bart joins in and comments on what happened to him. The show is called 22 Minutes for 30, meaning 22 minutes of comments and 30 of commercials. Marge is the first to appear on the show and talks about Bart, revealing that he was working for bookies. Then, it's Principal Skinner's turn to speak. Next, Grandpa comments on a random topic. Right after that, an anonymous person, who we later find out is Milhouse, reveals that Bart's career started after a prank. Then, Chalmers decides to tell how that prank began. It all started with a prank. Bart had no idea where it would lead. This voice is scaring me. Bart wrote a letter to everyone asking them to wear white clothes to celebrate Polar Bear Day. However, he sent a letter to Principal Skinner asking him to wear a floral shirt. On the scheduled day, a man arrives with a swarm of bees and releases them in the middle of everyone, but they only attack Skinner because he was the only one wearing flowers. After this prank, Bart got the longest attention ever. As time went on, Bart started throwing paper into the trash can and had no idea that this would make his life better in the future. Then it shows all the hours Bart spent in detention and how much better he got at throwing paper into the trash can. In the interview, Principal Skinner talks about his surprise at seeing a troubled kid get good at making baskets. He says that because of this, Bart's detention time decreased and he became a starter on the school's basketball team. Bart kept getting better and better and this earned him privileges at school, the public pool, the store and other places. But not everyone cared about Bart's fame. His sister Lisa, for example, was more focused on writing about him because it was something she needed to do, not because she thought he was amazing. Throughout history, the Springfield team had never won a basketball game, and this was the first time they had a chance to be winners and earn at least a banner. The scene then shows Marge talking about her experience with Bart being a player. She explains that she helped Bart train in every possible way, but then fame went to his head. Even Krusty makes a joke about Bart's situation. Then we see the moment when Bart refuses to train with the team because he thought he was good enough. Because of this, their coach, Willie, ends up quitting the team. As a result, the team gets a new coach, Homer Simpson. Meanwhile, the commentator announces the new coach on the show, but is very upset with the decision. The scene cuts to Marge talking about how worried she was about Bart becoming spoiled. At that moment, another TV arrives for him while he's sitting in a chair made of several TVs he had received. Excuse me, sir. Bart says no unauthorized photography. As Bart got better at the game, his ego grew bigger and with it, his disrespect. Bart reached a tragic point. While his dad was explaining some requests from his fans, Bart behaved rudely. This angers Homer, who almost strangles him right there. But when Bart shows the score, Homer gives up and tells him to wait on the bench. Homer then starts arguing with Bart and makes it clear that he will now be a player on the team just like any other. While he says this, someone with a criminal past is happy to see Bart upset. More reports from Krusty and Chief Wiggum pass until they get to Fat Tony's story. He says that when he saw Bart sad, he decided to take him out to eat. During the conversation, they talked about life and basketball. When Tony compared basketball to life, he was told that his comment wasn't very good, so he took it back. Then, an audio recording is shown where Tony talks about teaching Homer a lesson if he was bothering Bart. Then, in a game, Bart does something unusual. He just keeps dribbling the ball and doesn't shoot, with only two minutes left in the game. Even so, his team wins. Lisa explains that what Bart did was a strategy to win the game, but still keep the point difference small. This way, he manages to make everyone happy, from his opponents to the bookies. Everything happening to Bart was just the beginning. He appeared in various newspaper articles, always with bad news about his actions. Because of this, Lisa goes to interrogate him and accuses him of being the Mafia's scapegoat. He tries to deny it, but one of Tony's henchmen shows up, telling him the score he needs to win in the next game. 
When Lisa asks why he's sharing this information in front of her, the henchman just discourages her about her career, saying she's deluding herself about becoming a journalist. At the final championship, Bart is dribbling the ball while his team is tied with the opponent. Homer starts begging him to make the shot, but Bart stalls, making Homer lose his patience and go after him. As soon as Homer starts strangling Bart with a towel, Bart makes the basket and his team wins. However, Homer continues strangling him across the court and they start throwing objects at each other. You little But that wasn't all, as Bart was about to learn a very tough lesson. Later, an FBI recording of Fat Tony reveals that he was betting on the Springfield team. Bart finds out that Tony had been betting against his team all along, while Bart thought Tony was just helping him with his relationship with his dad. Even Maggie shows up to teach him a lesson. Bart continues to explain that after this, Fat Tony asked him to lose the next game on purpose. The only person who heard what Tony said was Johnny, but he refused to talk about the conversation. Bart says that because of this request, he ended up messing up everything for everyone. Because of this, all Bart feels is the urge to cry, but Homer interrupts him wanting to take the spotlight and saying the story was about him, not Bart. In the finals, Bart shows everyone that he recovered from his bad phase in basketball, but the focus quickly shifts to Nelson, who was abandoned by his father. Rejected! Like I've been rejected! Nothing but net! Now, with Moe's turn, he explains that it was in the third quarter that the game really got weird. When Bart was about to shoot, he took a hard foul from his best friend. After showing how the incident happened, Milhouse, in his interview, reveals that Fat Tony didn't just get to Bart, but also to him, and shows a recording of Tony throwing Milhouse's doll's head into the sea. At the end of the game, Bart apologizes to his dad for the score, but Homer explains that it's okay because Bart is just a kid and will make many mistakes that will help him not repeat them in the future. In the last quarter of the game, Bart manages to make his team win once again, but one person is not happy with the game's outcome. Tony starts to take action, and just as he goes to talk to Bart and Homer, Lisa arrives, telling him to leave them alone. Tony doesn't pay much attention to her, but when she threatens his merchandise, Tony decides to listen. Lisa reveals that she knows a secret about Tony. He had been on a women's basketball team and was the backup of the backup. Now that he was the mafia boss, he knew no one could ever know his secret. Tony tells Lisa she can't tell anyone. While he tries to convince the Simpson family to stay quiet, one of his henchmen shows up, wanting to understand what Tony was hiding. Nervous, the henchman ends up revealing several other embarrassing secrets. Lisa explains that they agreed not to reveal Tony's secret. However, Marge questions why she's talking about it now, since it was being revealed in the documentary. But Lisa states that no one watches those things anymore, so it was okay. Bart's efforts brought a positive outcome for the school they won a banner. In the documentary, the host highlights the result, mentioning that Bart, being a prankster and working with the Mafia, still got away with it, which makes him completely irritated. His parents now reveal that it was very nice to have a superstar for a while. Marge says that one day, Bart faced a much taller kid, which made him realize he wasn't that good. Ending the episode, we see that Homer continued his talent for bossing around kids. It was revealed that Stephen Curry didn't appear in the documentary, Milhouse had overcome his fears, Dolly sued Krusty for defamation, Fat Tony went back to training with his old basketball team, and Nelson's father had returned. In fact, it was he who had been narrating the whole episode, as that was his new job now. And so, they went back to being a family, at least for now. Don't forget to leave a like and your comment. See you in the next videos.